So here's a video I promised you guys for a while. The Shannara Chronicles is a fantasy show with fantasy hairstyles to go with it. So today I'll teach you to do some braided styles worn by the two leading ladies in season one, Amberly and Eritrea. We'll go from nice and sweet in Amberly's Elkrease trial to edgy punk with Eritrea's rover braids. Keep watching to learn them both. Amberly's style is a bit faster, so let's start with that. Kick things off with a gentle side part, and on the side with more hair, divide off a section that's a couple inches thick and runs along your front hairline and halfway down the side of your head. Tie off the rest of your hair for now to keep it out of the way. With this section of hair, make a French braid. Pick up three small pieces at your part and weave the outside strands over the middle one in an alternating pattern, adding in more hair to each strand before weaving it. Add in all the hair you sectioned off. Gently tug on the strands of this French braid a bit so that they look a bit softer and looser and the braid isn't so flat against the top of your head. Then finish off the braid normally to the ends and secure with a small hair elastic. Now on the other side of your part, pick up a section of hair and braid it normally to the ends. Next is the little flippy half ponytail in the back. Divide off some hair at crown level like this. Comb it smooth and then tie it with a small hair tie. With your finger, poke a little hole in the ponytail hair right above the hair tie, and feed the ponytail up and out through that hole. To make sure the flipped ponytail stays perky and doesn't just flop down, get some bobby pins and pin the ponytail in that flipped up position right above the hair tie. When you release the ponytail now, the remaining hair should drape over the pins and the hair tie so you can't see them, but you still have a nice bump shape in the back. Underneath the ponytail now, pick up another section of hair and split it in half. Make these halves into two separate rope braids. That means split each section in two again, twist the sections clockwise, and then twist them together counterclockwise. This counter twisting is important because if the sections are twisted together in the same direction that they are individually twisted, the hair will just blend together and you won't have a braid. Finish both rope braids all the way to the ends and tie off. Pick up one of the rope braids now and drape it up along the side of your head. With a couple bobby pins, pin it right behind the French braid. That tucking we did to make the French braid looser also makes it easier to hide pins in that hair, so take advantage of that. Next grab the other rope braid and drape it up and over the other side of your head, also pinning it in place. If your braids are on the shorter side, try to tuck the ends in underneath the other braid to hide them and pin down. Then pick up your other braids and tie them together at the back of your head underneath the ponytail. If your rope braids are long enough to reach back here, tie them back as well. Remove any hair ties and braiding below this tie off point. And you're good to go! Here's a 360 look at Amberly's Elkrease hairstyle. It's romantic and sweet and a great way to wear a half up look. Now let's majorly change gears and try out Eritrea's hair. Make a side part again, bringing the part all the way down the back of your head to your neck, and tie off the bigger half of hair. On the smaller side, we're going to make four cornrow-like braids. I'll note that in the show, these wrapped braids are more like dreads on Eritrea, but it'll be easier for people who don't want that big commitment to make rope braids instead, so that's what I'll do in this tutorial. If you want to be completely screen accurate, just be aware of that. Anyways, for the first braid, Divide off about a third of the hair on the side of your head, making a long section that follows the curve of your part. Go about two thirds of the way back towards your neck and then stop, as we'll use the rest of the hair back here for something else. Clip the rest of the hair away so it doesn't get in your way, and then with this section, make a French rope braid running from the front of your head to the back. This uses the same twisting pattern from the rope braids in Amberly style except we're adding in more hair to each section as we move backwards across the head. Add in sections until there's no more free hanging hair left, and then regular rope braid to the ends. Secure with a small hair elastic. Remember the rest of the line of hair we didn't use? Pick up this hair now at the back of your head, and make another French rope braid. The French part will be short until you reach the hairline at your neck, and then you'll finish it as a normal rope braid to the ends. Divide off another third of hair on the side of your head, again following the curve of your part. This one should run from your side hairline all the way back to your neck. Pick up three small sections now, 
at your side hairline and make a Dutch braid along this section. This is just like a French braid adding a new hair to each strand that you weave, except that instead of weaving the outside strands over the middle one, weave the outside strands under the middle one. This is what makes the braid pop visually. Dutch braid in all the free hanging hair in this section and then braid normally to the ends and tie off. For the last braid, make another Dutch braid with the remaining hair on the side of your head. Pro tip for these little Dutch braids is if you pick up really tiny bits of hair at a time to add into the strands, the braid will look tighter and more detailed. The last steps are to add decorations. Embroidery string works well for the wrappings around the faux dread braids, so cut off two strings that are twice the length of the braid you're going to wrap. With the yarn needle, thread one string through the beginning of the top rope braid so that both string halves are the same length below this point. Again with the needle, weave one of the halves up through the French braided part continuously like I'm doing here, so you wrap this part of the hair. With the other half of string, thread it down through the hair continuously, so you create an X crossing pattern with the two lengths of string. Once you reach the part of the braid that no longer has new hair added in, you can wrap the rest of the string around the braid with your hands. Do it in the same crisscrossing pattern and then hold the string in place by retying the elastic at the end of the braid to include the ends of the string. Wrap the other rope braid with your second string in the very same manner. Last but not least, Eritrea has some feather extensions up in there, so I attached some to a bobby pin and secured it to one of the braids so that the feathers hung down among the braid lengths. And that's that for this Shinar Chronicles hair tutorial. If you liked this video and have any ideas for more fantasy and sci-fi hair, or if you just want to stop by and say hi, follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash I post lots of updates, articles, pictures, and questions for the public there, and I'm always happy to read your comments. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you again soon.